So while your plant is running, a considerable amount of cash will be set aside for its operation. And we're going to call this cost expenses in a bit, but for now, let's just break it down and see what it entails. So every year, there'll be three major classes that will eat away at your profit. One, there'll be the cost of natural resources, the commodity chemicals that you're purchasing, fine chemicals, any utilities they'll be using, and any fuel they'll be using. Uh, two, there'll be the labor-related operations, which unfortunately are denoted as O, not zero. And three, maintenance-related operations, which uh, we're going to denote as M. So let's look at O and M specifically, because uh, A, those are things that we will deal with specifically, and we're going to quote them as we're dealing with things in the plant design uh, later on. So the labor-related operations, or O, will be equal to four factors summed up together. We're going to break that, break that down to direct wages and benefits, as was in how much you're going to pay the people that are doing the work for the operations, uh, the direct salaries and benefits, okay? Uh, the operating supplies and services, so anything that, that may be needed, uh, and then the technical assistance and control lab as well. And to help us, to, to help us uh, approximate the cost of, the, uh, of O, we're going to approximate each of these four factors as a factor of DWP. So obviously the first one will just be equal to DWB because that's just by definition what it is. The second one is 15% of that DWB. The third one will be 6% of the DWB. And the fourth one will be $125,000 times the number of operators per shift, which we will detail in a minute. So add them all up and we get that the uh, O, not zero, is equal to 1.21 times DWB plus this factor of $125,000 times the operators per shift. Okay, so how do we get this DWB here, you might ask, and we can actually approximate that using this, this relation right here. So DWB will be equal to the operators per shift uh, times five shifts times 2,000 hours per year times the salary that uh, we will give the operator. So to detail what this means, first of all, why are five shifts? Well, uh, if we're going to assume that the plant operates 24-7, and since the uh, typical week has 168 hours, and a typical operator will work a typical work week of 40 hours, then there should be 4.2 shifts. But I'm going to round it up to five because people may take vacations, they'll have sicknesses and things like that. So just we're going to round it to five just to be on the, on the safe side. Uh, there'll be about 2,000 hours per year that the people will be working, if you sum it up, because 40 40 hours per week, uh, and then there's 52 years, uh, 52 weeks per the year. So it's about 2,000 hours per the year. Uh, and then the yearly, the hourly salary will uh, will finish off the dimensional analysis so we can get the actual uh, yearly sum. And that's dollars per hour. And you can assume that's going to be somewhere between 30 and 40 bucks per hour uh, in the United States in 2020. Okay. So um, we're going to uh, also need the operators per shift, and there's a heuristic here for this as well. If your plant if processes fluids for the most part and it's operating continuously, you will use the factor of six for operators per shift, and this will also work in the relation here for uh, to get the O here as well. Uh, if it's a batch uh, plant, it will be 12, and so on and so forth. If it's a fluid solids, fluid solids plant, you'll use 12 and 18. And if it's a solid processing alone, it's 18 and 24. And if your production exceeds 100 tons per day, you can, uh, you can double these values. Okay, that's just a heuristic. Obviously, this is not a, uh, a one and done for every single thing, but we will use this nonetheless to make our lives a little bit easier when we're trying to figure this out. Okay. Maintenance related operations. So these are things that are, are required around the operations, but not actually directly related to the operation of the production of the facility. Uh, so things like cleaning uh, and, and things like that, uh, things that are uh, a little more overhead. Uh, and just to, to, to note, overhead is anything that's associated, uh, any cost associated with anything that's not directly related to manufacturing or maintenance but still required for the workers in the plant. So things like a cafeteria to have there, uh, transportation to get in and out, things like HR, uh, medics to be there, janitorials, uh, warehouses, recreational facilities if needed, safety, safety protections, fire protections, office supplies, heating, electricity, internet, 
for offices and things like that. This is overhead, all right? Uh, and that's part of the maintenance related operations. Uh, we will also break this down to maintenance wages and benefits. So the benefits you can actually give the maintenance workers, uh, the salaries you're gonna give to the engineers and the supervisors, and also anything that's related to materials and services that, uh, that will be required, not directly for the production, but for maintenance. Okay, and we can just like for the O factor, we can approximate the first factor to be above and to be exactly MWB, and it is 4% of the total capital investment. All right, the engineers supervise the salaries, uh, that will be about a quarter of the MWB. The material services will be uh, about equal to the MWB, uh, just by, by sheer luck. And the overhead will be about 5% of the MWB. And we can approximate, again, the MWB from the total capital investment, which means M, the factor M, we can just add all four up, and it will be 2.3 times MWB. So it will be, this is 1, 2, and then 2.25, uh, and then 2.3. And then since MWB is equal to 4% of TCI, uh, you can just approximate M directly from the TCI using this, this relation. Okay, so now we, we, can, we can approximate M, we can approximate O, and the two together will give us the, the total expenses uh, needed for, for the plant to operate.